Okay guys, as many of you know, uh, I missed last week. My stepfather passed away and so I was gone all week. Um, he and my mother were married 30, 31, 32 years, something like that. So anyway, it was a rough week. Uh, back at it now. Uh, anyone that's emailed me asking where the results from last week were, there weren't any as far as me. I wasn't in the chat room. Chat room still went on. They, those guys were trading and had a good week, but uh, I was not there moderating. Um, and I do appreciate if you're one of those that uh, sent me a nice email or a nice comment in chat. I thank you very much. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, anyway, uh, today in chat, it took me a while to get my feet wet. I'm always a little cautious after missing a week of trading. I don't want to just dive right in because when you're not there tick by tick every day, you just get a little bit out of sync. But uh, having said that, I did call BlackBerry. Um, had a lot of action recently. And then uh, last Thursday, the market was closed on Friday, had earnings, ended up closing near its lows, then gapped up today, sold off. These are five minute candles. Um, this was the opening five minute candle today, this red one here. And then when it got near its early high, there's the early high. My thinking was, um, you know, after the gap up and the sell off, and then the gap up today and selling off, that if it does light up the new highs ticker today, um, you might get some late shorts to cover. Um, and that's exactly what happened. So I called it long at 14.74, uh, worst case stop 14.60. It's only 14 cents risk, and there was a trigger. And you can see the volume start to come in as as, um, as BlackBerry starts to light up the new highs ticker, and you get some covering. And this actually went all the way to. Um, at the highest, it went to uh, 1536, uh, 62 cent move in our favor on only 14 cents risk. And because, um, you know, like Rim, or BlackBerry, I, I call it Rim sometimes, I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to it, um, traded 57 million shares today. So it's one of those stocks, you can have as many shares as you want, you know, as long as it's still, your stop is still within your risk parameters, uh, but plenty liquid to, to make. And so I had, I had a decent size in, uh, in BlackBerry and had a nice little trade. Um, Tesla, TSLA, uh, called on a pullback somewhere in here, and it only made like a 40 or 50 cent move, uh, in, not worth really talking about. Um, soda, I was all over soda when it looked, when it came down to this area, I just never got a clean entry for everybody as far as trigger and stop. Um, then I, I actually switched to 15 minute candles at one point. Um, and said over this candle I liked it at 50.46, worst case stop below this candle, but by the time I put it out in the announcements feature and I uh, had the little pop-up come out on everybody's screen, it was already, uh, it had already triggered. Uh, it would have worked great, but I can't count it on my results page because it didn't quite get it out. By the time I typed it and sent it, it already moved up above my trigger by like a dime, but uh, that would have been a great entry. Um, switching to twos, I also called, let me go to fives here. I also called a possible entry in um, SODA for those of us that missed that one call I just talked about, just kind of over this little tiny little flag here. Um, what was the end? 51.25 with a stop uh, slightly below 51. And that worked too. 51.25, it, it ended up going um, not, you know, not great, but went to 51.79. So a good uh, 50 cent plus move there in our favor, but certainly not as good an entry as I could have called down here. Um, other ideas, and I've closed chat now, so I, I don't have the list of everything I go. But other ideas that I uh, recall making today were Pandora um, was getting shape on five minute candles, nice volume um, into the daily 20 and some price support. So Pandora looked like this when I called it as a possible bounce. Again, another one that I didn't get out of trigger and stop, but that was the low of the day, um, and I got some thank yous for that. CBS, one of our members, uh, Jonathan, pointed out CBS meeting all of our parameters uh, looking like this. Massive volume, uh, candles reaching out, um, price candles reaching out to what looks like the volume sticks are, you know, like they're reaching out toward each other. Couple that with the fact that you had nice support on CBS way back here around 4540. Uh, another example of one I didn't get out of trigger and stop, I put, uh, thanks to Jonathan's post, I put, hey, watch CBS here. Um, didn't get out of, hey, here's a great trigger, here's a great stop, but many of us did catch a bounce on this one. Look at that. Um, from 45, 40, or a little below that, to 46 in about five minutes. And it chopped around the rest of the day, but a lot of us were in on this, even though on the results page it won't be there because I didn't have time to give out a trigger and stop. But this is a great alert by Jonathan. I'm um, in a good example of stuff that uh, you see in our chat room all the time. I'll try to zoom in here. So you had this big 60 minute candle, right? At the time, keep in mind, at the time this was a solid red candle. And coming out here, 
Um, a lot of support right in this area. And you got a beautiful bounce. I'll go back to fives. Look how quickly that bounced. Um, that was a nice alert by Jonathan. And uh, you know what? My throat's about to lose it. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, slow day, but uh, nicely above my daily goal that I set for myself. And, uh, you know, feel good about getting my feet wet and having a nice green day. So hopefully we'll get uh, more in tune the rest of the week. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night.